Okay, today we're going to talk about the advanced view in Flex Utility Premium. I'm going to go over all the elements in that view and how to use them. Okay, so I'm going to open the menu um, and we have we see that service status is has a check mark. So that means that uh, my accessibility service is enabled for this app. So now I'm going to go to advanced. Um, and at the top we have reset swipe position. We have the text here that says your swipe is set to blank. Your total screen height is blank. The swipe button is located at blank. Um, because it's all blank, I know that my swipe position is not set. And in order to set it, we go to the Amazon Flex app, go to the Offers screen, and that's it. We don't have to do anything else. We go back to Advanced, press the Refresh button, and we see now that now it says uh, Swipe is set at position 1946. 1946 represents uh, pixels from the top, so starting at the top is zero and then going down it increases and swipe position is set right around here where we want it to be because that's where the swipe button is going to be um, so that's 1946 pixels from the top the total screen height the second one your screen height is 2076 that's the total screen height uh, from the top down to the very bottom in pixels. Um, the swipe button is located at 1896 um, and that represents the very top of where the swipe button is going to be. So the very tippy top. And we don't want to swipe at the very tippy top because that's not going to do anything. We want to swipe in the middle or somewhere below the top. And in order to do that we set our swipe position um, to be lower uh, than the very top of the button, right? So our swipe position is 1946, the very top of the swipe button is 1896, okay? Which means uh, the swipe's gonna happen roughly in the middle of the button, which is exactly what we want. Uh, but let's say for some reason we're having issues with swipe, uh, we can come in here in the advanced view and press reset swipe position. We see it says swipe position uh, reset. And we can go ahead and press refresh. You don't have to press refresh after uh, you reset the swipe position, but you can. And that will change the text here. Swipe position has not been set. And just like before, in order to set it, we go back to the offer screen. And then come back here, press refresh, and we can see now that the swipe position is set again. Um, and then we have manual swipe position. And basically what that is, is you can uh, change where the swipe occurs on your screen. Um, this is only for if you're having issues with swipe and resetting it doesn't work and uh, swipe's not getting set properly um, usually you wouldn't you don't want to mess around with manual swipe position there's really no advantage to it um, usually what will happen is people will contact me saying their swipe doesn't work I'll have them send me a screenshot of the advanced view and then I can uh, tell them what to put in here. So just don't worry about manual swipe position. Unless you're having issues with swipe and you've tried resetting it, you've tried uh, to clear the storage and, all, and uh, the cache and um, all that troubleshooting. If you're still having issues, send me a screenshot. Uh, if you're having issues with swipe position, send me a screenshot of this view, the advanced view. Um, with the text um, set and then I can tell you what to do with manual swipe position but if you're doing okay with swipe position the app swipes 
You don't need to mess around with manual swipe. Okay, uh, so swipe start time, you can mess around with if you want. So the swipe start time default is zero. And what swipe start time means, um, that means how long it takes for the swipe gesture from right to left to start. And it takes zero milliseconds, which is instant. Uh, the swipe instantly starts. When it's called, it starts. But if you wanted to make it a delay, um, you could say, so let's just test swipe now with the default values, zero, one. Test swipe, we can see it happens like immediately, right? And this is going from uh, right to left. So test swipe, and we see the line draws. That's a, a swipe starting from right to the left, right? Which is what you want to happen on the swipe button. Uh, but we could delay it if we so choose. Let's say uh, 1,000. Uh, oh, wait, no. Uh, start time. 1,000. And now let's press test swipe. Uh, so now we can see it takes uh, a second for the line to show because it's waiting 1,000 milliseconds to start. Which usually, I mean, I don't see why you would want that. But, I mean, you're free to come in here and mess around with it if you want. But um, zero is probably the best. So, and uh, that the, the value here represents milliseconds. Um, for, start, for start time, it's uh, how long it takes swipe to start, which I already said. Okay, swipe duration. Um, that's how long the gesture takes to go from right to left. Right now it takes one millisecond to go from right to left, right? We test swipe, uh, and pretty much you can't even see it. Like it just looks like a line appears, but it's actually a swipe. Okay, and we can demonstrate that if we change the duration to something like 9,999, uh, and then press test swipe, and now you can see the line at the bottom very slowly going from right to left, right? Because it's taken 9,999 milliseconds to complete the gesture. Um, again, you're probably not going to want that. But you can come in here, tweak it a bit, mess around with it. But I would say, in my opinion, the default value is 0 to 1. That's the fastest possible speed for the swipe that it can be. Um, which is probably the best, right? But maybe not. So that's why this is here. Um, okay. And again, swipe duration represents milliseconds. How long it takes to go from right to left. Uh, swipe duration has to be positive because you can't, uh, you know, be negative milliseconds. And then uh, swipe start time must not be negative, which means it can be zero but it can't be negative. Okay, and then we have filter selection. And what that is, is basically you can come in here and disable filters that you, that you uh, are not using. Um, and the purpose of that is um, if you're not using a filter, then there's no reason to have the app check uh, to check blocks for that filter, right? Like if you're not using time, then there's no reason for the app to check the block's time because you're not using it, right? So you can just come in here and disable it. And uh, the general idea is um, that would make it faster um, because it doesn't have to do an extra check, right? It doesn't have to worry about the time if you're not using the time. But I mean, even if you don't disable it, it's still fine. So let's go, uh, let's just keep them all as they were. Let's check it out here in the main view. We can see that we have all of our filters enabled, right? Let's go back to advanced filter selection. Let's disable uh, time and pay, press okay. And then back to the main view again. And now we see that uh, time and pay are disabled. 
and we can't use them and the app's not going to check those filters on blocks and then uh, yeah so if you're not using a filter you can come in here and disable it if you want and then we have reserved blocks only and that's going to do like it says um, it's only going to going to accept reserved blocks um, that match your filters right so reserve blocks only checked the app will only accept reserve blocks that match your filters unchecked the app will accept any kind of block that matches your filters and also reserve blocks that match your filters so there's no way to exclude reserve blocks but you can um, come in here and choose to only accept reserve blocks but uh, the reserve blocks have to match your filters either way okay so if you want to catch reserve blocks and regular blocks you just leave it unchecked because that's the default unchecked reserve blocks only the app will accept regular blocks that match your filters and reserve blocks if you only want reserve blocks come in here and check reserve blocks only and then the app will accept uh, only reserve blocks that match your filters okay so I just don't want there to be confusion there that you have to have this checked in order to accept reserve blocks because that's not the case if you un if you have it unchecked the app will still accept reserve blocks and regular blocks that match your filters reserve blocks only checked it'll only accept reserve blocks that match your filters all right so we uh, covered everything in the advanced view um, just to recap we learned uh, how to reset the swipe position if you're having issues just come in here and press the button um, and we went over the text here uh, we know if it's blank then our swipe is not set uh, in order to set it we go to the flex offer screen come back here press refresh and our uh, text will uh, give us the information we need um, if you're having issues with swipe and you've tried to reset it you've tried to clear the app storage and re-enabled re -enabled the service and accessibility you're still having issues just go ahead and send me a screenshot of this view um, and I'll tell you what to do with manual swipe position if needed uh, we learned about the swipe start time swipe duration um, that basically you can customize the swipe gesture that goes from right to left um, if you want to make it uh, have a delay um, or if you just want to come in here and play around with the values and maybe for your device um, something else other than the, de the defaults of uh, start time zero and duration one millisecond uh, will work better for you um, but in my opinion as I said before the default values in this area of adjust swipe are probably what you want to stick with um, and then yeah uh, we went over the testing swipe um, you, every time you press test swipe the app actually does the swipe gesture as it would uh, when attempting to accept blocks and we see that the swipe is very fast that we don't even see it go from right to left um, and that's what we typically would want uh, and then we went over uh, the filter selection you can come in here disable filters as you'd like um, and one thing I didn't go over is um, even if you have a value Let's say let's go ahead and set pay to greater than 80. Um, so even if you have a value there in a filter, you can still disable it. So we can disable pay. Press OK. Um, and we see pay is disabled. So you don't have to have no value in order to disable it. I just wanted to, wanted to demonstrate that. Um, uh, you can disable a filter even if it has a value there. If a filter is disabled, the app is not 
going to check blocks uh, for that category, right? Pay is disabled, so it's not going to check uh, pay. Okay, so yes. All right. Yeah, I believe we went over everything and advanced uh, the best I could for this video. Uh, just go ahead and let me know if you have uh, questions or issues. I appreciate it. Bye.